The ad processed video is satisfied to watch, and Clip Studio Time Lapse Record is the wonderful feature that allows you to record your ad process in video format. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add music and transition movement to your time lapse video with Clip Studio animation feature. You don't need extra software for it. Time lapse video is like storytelling about how your art was made. The clear art process is like a clear storyboard for it. Planning your art process in mind before recording will make your time lapse video play more smoothly too. To record the time lapse, when you create a new file, check on record time lapse option on the bottom right corner of the panel. Or you can enable it later by the menu File, Time Lapse, Record Time Lapse. The time lapse will record after the point where you enable it. Then just drawing. You can export the time lapse video by File, Time Lapse, and Export Time Lapse. You will have some options such as Time, Size, and Ratio. Choose whatever you want. My process video looks good in 60 seconds, so I export it with this link. The file will be exported to MP4 format with the frame rate at 30 frames per second. Let's add music to the time lapse video. Create a new file with the same dimension of your art. I use the FHD preset. Import the video, go to File, Import, Movie. You will see the video is not fit on the screen. It's because the maximum export of the video is 1280 pixels, which is 50% less than the canvas size. I scale it up to 150% and make it fit on the canvas. If you don't have the timeline panel, you can open it from the menu, Windows, Timeline. Create a new timeline. I will use the frame rate to 24. You can set any value here. The less value will be the less frame amount, but the length of video will be the same. When click OK, you will see the timeline is longer than your playback time. You can drag the blue bar to extend it. Or go to Animation, Timeline, and Change Setting. Set the end frame to the frame number where the video ends, and click OK. Now, your playback time will cover all the video length. You can see the result image at the beginning of the time-lapse video, and the quality is a bit dropped because we resized the video. To fix this, import the finished image on the canvas. Go to File, Import, Image. Set the image layer to show only on the beginning and at the end part. Right click at the position where the preview ends and set at last keyframe. At the end of the playback time, extend it a bit. And right click at the image timelines where the time lapse video ends and set as first display frame. Add the music to the video. Select the first frame. This will be the point where the music is import. Then go to File, Import, Audio. Select the audio file and open. You can listen to the music along with the video when you click play button. You can add the fade out effect to the music at the end of the video. Select a frame with the object tool and in the tool property panel, click on the rectangle after the volume control to add a keyframe on the music layer. Select the end of the timeline and adjust the volume to zero. This will create very easy fade out effect for your music. You may add also the fade in effect too. Just set it to start with 0 and end with 100. 
to export the video, go to File, Export Animation, and Movie. You can export an AVI or MP4 format by setting in the Save as Type option. And make sure that the frame rate is the same as the timeline frame rate. And there you see it, the very easy timeless video with music, easily done with Clip Studio. Let's make the video more interesting with camera movement, fading effect, ending credit, and text overlay. You can add all of this to your video with Clip Studio Animation tool. Let's start with the camera movement. Create a new 2D camera folder. Go to Animation, New Animation Layer, and 2D Camera Folder. Put all the layer in the folder except the music. Then adjust the camera with the object tool. Let's start with the zoom out effect. Select the camera folder, click on the timeline, and add a new keyframe. This keyframe will have camera scale at 100% and stay in the middle of the canvas. We will use this as a reference keyframe. Then at start point, scale the camera down with object 2. The zooming effect is done. You can check the camera preview by changing the display mode in the tool property panel. To make the fade effect, Enable the layer keyframe, click on the plus icon at the layer, and you can click on Opacity tab to adjust it on the timeline. I start with 100% Opacity and end with 0. To add camera movement in the timeline, create two keyframes covering one area. Next to the first keyframe, scale the camera down. If you are on the field of view mode, you must switch it back first. Right click on the keyframe and copy. Then pass it in front of another keyframe. Move it a bit, you can hold shift key and it will move in line. And the easy camera pan is done. For the tile effect, right click on the video timeline and split clip covering the area where you want to play the effect. Enable the layer keyframe and create one keyframe in the split area. Then scale the video down with object tool. You will see it scale only in the split area. Disable the layer keyframe and in the tool property panel, Enable the tiling option. When you enable the layer keyframe again, you will see the tile effect is done. In some process result, you may want to show it longer. For example, the finish ink, split the clip, and chip it back. Then import the ink image and set it to show only on the blank area. To make easy ending credit, make sure the layer keyframe is enabled. Create a new keyframe where the credit will start, and several frames after, move the image to the left. Then create a new layer and fill the color. Enable the layer keyframe and move it to the right side. Set it to show only in the ending area. Then move it along in the same time position as the image. Extend the playback time to show ending credit longer. Then add the text after the movement. You may also add fading effect on it too. For the text overlay, type and set the format. Then copy the layer and edit text for all the process. Create a new animation folder outside the camera folder and put all the text layer inside. Then right click on the timeline 
and select the text to appear. You can also enable the layer keyframe for the animation folder and add the fading effect. You can also set the text border and change the color with layer effect on the layer property panel. To cut some part of music, you can also easily do it in Clip Studio. Split clip on the music layer where you want to cut. Then copy the layer and delete all unwanted parts. Drag the timelines of the second part to connect to the first part. Extend the timeline a bit and delete all layer keyframe. And set the volume on overlap part 0 to 100 for the second part. and 100 to 0 for the first part. This will make the easy crossfade effect for your music. GIF animation process presentation is always famous in many platforms. It's very easy to make and also compatible for Clip Studio Pen Pro. In traditional style, we save the file for each process and put it together. Create a new canvas with the same dimension of the art process. Create a new timeline and set the frame rate to 1. Create a new animation folder. Make sure you are active on the animation folder, then import the image file. File, Import, Image. Select your process files and open. The file will be in animation folder. Then assign them to the timeline. I also add the text to explain the step. Put the text in separate animation folder. And it's done. We can also make the time-lapse video into GIF animation. Create a new timeline with the frame rate of 1 frame per second. Then import the time-lapse video into the canvas. You can see, with this setting, the video is having only 60 frames for 60 seconds. For Clip Studio Pen X version, you can export all 60 frames in one time by scaling the playback time to the end. But for Pro version, here is some trick for you. I shift the time drive one frame to delete the preview image at the beginning. Then, go to File, Export Animation, an image sequence, select the destination folder, and set the start number to 0 and the frame rate to 1. This will save all the keyframes in separate file. Note that the last export number is 23. Then hold click on the header of frame 24 and drag it to one frame before the playback time. Export again and set the start number to 24. The file name for this export will start with 24. Repeat the step until the end of the time lapse video. The final part may be less than 24 frames. Don't forget to adjust the playback time to fit the frame. Let's arrange the export frame into GIF animation. You can create a new canvas. Or just delete the time-lapse video and adjust the frame rate for the current canvas. Go to Animation, 
timeline and change frame rate. You can use 4 or 8 frames per second to match your work. 8 frames will be shorter but smoother GIF animation. Create a new animation folder and go to File, Import, Image. Select all file and open. It will be imported to the animation folder, order by file name. Rename the layer, go to animation, edit track, and rename in layer order. It will rename all the layer into order number. Assign it on the timeline. Click on the animation folder, go to animation, edit track, and best specify cell. Check on skip cell number to skip some frame to fit the 24 frame limitation. You don't have to do this if you use Script Studio Pen X version, which have no frame limitation. Set the start and the end number. The time left key frame will be assigned automatically on the timeline. Extend the last key frame to show the final result longer. I hope this tutorial get you some idea to improve your time lapse video before uploading it on social network. Stay safe and have fun creating. See you later.